Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. Welcome to a super fun Sunday. This is episode two. This book is a hidden gem among gems. It's absolutely beautiful. When I first saw this, I fell in love with this guy's stuff immediately. He had done uh, a Batman Judge Dredd sort of fill-in where Simon Bisley, I think, did the first issue. And then he did, I think, half of the second book or something like that. Um, we can figure that out later, but this is the thing. But when he did this book, man, I was sold. This guy is so, so good. His name is Jim Murray, M-U-R-R-A-Y. He's gone on to do um, kind of like Magic the Gathering type stuff. And it looks like he had like a, a creator-owned project that he was working on. You don't see enough of this guy's work, but I'm telling you, this guy's got it all because it's very, very exciting looking art. It's like he took everything from Bisley and kind of amped it up, if that was even possible. But this guy's hardcore. Look how beautiful this cover is. Are you already sold? Like, you can't wait to see the interiors. I'm telling you, this guy is so good. All right, let's do this. Super fun Sunday. It's going to be super fun. <laughs> all right, this book is going to be challenging because it's... it's um, tight <laughs> all right so here let's do this look at this oh my god splash page city literally it is a city cool looking things it's like Stephen Platt and Simon Bisley had the killer baby who was crazy and could paint his butt off I love 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 this guy's stuff this is bad news me checking this out because now I know what's gonna happen I'm gonna get the bug <laughs> the bug to do something awesome like this guy <laughs> He's really crazy. Like, I mean, I don't know what it is with, with um, I'm pretty sure he's English. Like, they go to art school more frequently than uh, people in the United States. For whatever reason, it's uh, someone, you know, like, let me know. Like, if uh, I just, you hear about it, like, like David Bowie went to art school. Jimmy Page went to art school. All these, like, famous British uh, uh, musicians and artists, um, it's it's really something that's great. Look at how nice this stuff is. He he gets cartoony like Bisley, like like that guy squatting down. I mean, to to only uh, compare this guy to Bisley is is a gross gross understatement. He is clearly heavily heavily influenced by Bisley, but at the same time, he's got such monster drawing skills and such a good eye for like dynamics. I mean, Bisley should be proud that he was able to inspire someone that's as talented as this, honestly. Because, dude, this guy brings it. This is going to drive me nuts. I haven't looked at this book in a little while. This was one of my favorite comics for years. And like I said, he's kind of a hidden gem. I mean, let me know if you know his work in the comments below. And if you don't and you're impressed by it, let me know too. Because I would be very curious of like, you know, don't be embarrassed if you've never heard of him. I mean, he hasn't done hardly any comic book. So it's one of those things where... Um, it would be more likely that you don't know his work. Oh, the anatomy, like, I mean, the guy just can draw his butt off. Sorry for the glare, but the only way to really light this, and it, they're fairly shiny pages. And this gets better, too. This guy's just cutting his teeth right here. I would absolutely love to see him do another comic book. And if he's done any comics in the last, like, year or two, let me know, or even, like, five years. Um, the last time that I saw a big chunk of his work online was I Googled him probably six or seven years ago. This is pretty cool. You can see it's this is a pencil drawing with just some uh, probably acrylic splatter over it. Really, really effective um, uh, look. Very, very pretty. This is great. Alfred coming up the stairs. I hope you can see this. You're going to want to get this book. I'm telling you, like, like, unless this is just way off the charts for you. I get that little like hidden skull thing. Here, I'll get in the light a little bit. I'm just worried about glare. But, um, the white coming through the window there. See, this is stuff that, this is why painted work is sometimes so appealing, is there are things that you can do with painted work that, that are very, very difficult to do with black and white, although you could actually mist splatter over something like this to give the illusion of it. But what's great about this guy is he controls the mood with the color, and wait do you see what he does with Poison Ivy. It's unbelievable. He's got the big heads like Bisley does, so it makes the bodies look a little squat. But, I mean, again, look at the figure drawing on that figure. Like, that's a nice, nice painted figure. Nice drapery. Again, the light coming in. If you've never seen Simon Bisley slain, 
I would highly recommend at least the first three books. I think he did six. The first three are really, really good. Um, um, you know, you can maybe tell like the deadlines and stuff are starting to catch up to him later on. But I think one of the final three is actually very good. Look at that. So nice. But do you see how like like the figure looks like it has very short arms, and the reason being is because the head is so big. Um, but it's not a big deal. It's just an observation, and and he he really kind of um plays with that sort of structure, which I think is fun. It gives if it was too realistic, I think it wouldn't um be as exciting. We'll get through these because I don't want to um take too too long on some of these pages. You get the idea though. I like that Alfred face though. It's nice, nicely painted. A lot of texture. Look like. Look at look at like his skin, like the pores in his skin. It's really really wild. I'd be curious how long. I love the bell coming out of the panel there. It's so three D. Um, I'd be curious how long a page like this takes him to do. I would think at least four four days. Figure like probably a day or two to lay it out and pencil it, and then a day or two to paint it. He may have been working faster, but I can't imagine that he's cranking this stuff that fast. Look at that. So crazy, but so cool. <laughs> I love this, like the color. See again, him coloring his own stuff, he's able to really like, like, look how, like, I hope it reads. So this is very subtle green. It's, it's more muted up here. As he moves through the page, the colors start to get more saturated. It's getting more and more red, brighter. He's got kind of that hot spot on the ear. And then this panel is really, really lit up. Okay, so let's see what that takes us to. But do you see how bright that green is and the, the blues and stuff? Okay, so we've got a guy in a cell. Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare off of it. Again, man, he really makes the figures pop with like the three dimensionality of it. The, um, the size of things, the hardness of the edges compared to the softness of the edges. A lot of really, really like high level techniques coming through here. He's really, really good with like foliage and stuff like that too. You'll see if you if you Google him and find that chunk of um, sort of fantasy work that he did. Um, uh, <laughs> and there's Slane, Bruce Wayne, but it's a playoff of the Slane stuff. Oh, man, look at that hallway! Come on, dude, that is so cool. Oh, my God, love it. I could live in this panel. Take me there now. Take me away from boring comics and take me here. <laughs> this is where I want to live. Where fantasy reigns supreme. Artistry is at the forefront. Boom, chakalaka, boom. So if you haven't seen this, are you tripping hard? Because it gets better. I'm telling y'all. Look at this page. This page is beautiful. Little ivy panel. Oh, it's Ivy's house. What's going on? Butterflies and cool painted stuff. <gasps> Boom. Very cartoony, but still very, very nicely done. So busily, but yet so dang good. Like I said, I don't mind this. I don't know what it is, and, and I've mentioned this before, that I can get a little hypersensitive on people that are too much of a clone of another artist, but for whatever reason, this guy's just so talented, it doesn't really bother me, you know? And, and maybe it's it's that I'm a fan of Bisley's, but it's not, I don't have, like, such a deep personal connection. That is great. That's so nice. Look at the shadow coming off of her outfit on her shoulder. Beautiful touch. Um, That's nice, too. Man. Oh. We're going to start moving a little faster. We can't have this video take too, too long. But anyway, you get the idea on this page. All right, look at this guy. This guy's cool. Hello. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. Look at the wolf in the dude's face. It's great. Looks like Looney Tunes or something. Isn't this cool? Bet you weren't expecting this on Super Fun Sunday. But it's fun. I almost did a Mooka book, but we'll talk about that later. Look at that. Bam! Chakalaka. Look at that glove. It's cool. Look at the the railing. God dang. Dude is creative. Look at those boots. Yeah, really, really nice. Look at this. The shot right here. Bam. 
you know, I'm a sucker for fantasy, though. You know, if you're a big superhero fan, who knows? Maybe this doesn't connect as hard. I like, I don't, you know, I think growing up on Dungeons and Dragons a little bit, um, or a lot for, for a chunk of time, it wasn't like I didn't play it for, you know, a decade straight, but I was really, really into it when I was into it. Um, and um, so I've always had an affinity for fantasy, but I do like superheroes too, but this blend of the two I think is really, really interesting. Man, look at that. Dude just draws clothes and anatomy so good. I mean, there's just like, man, he's so talented. So, so talented. Jim, if you ever watch this, I'm telling you, I've been such a big fan of your stuff for so many years. It was a really neat thing, too, because when I found your stuff, I didn't know anyone that knew it. So, um, it was just neat. Like, like, how I operate when I go to the comic book store is I look through every single comic book that comes out. Everything. And I've done it ever since I've started collecting. On New Comic Wednesday, I will flip through every single book. And if I see something that I like or that I find interesting or even just enough pages in a book that are interesting, I would always buy it. And so I picked up a lot of very unusual books along the way and some really, really talented artists that maybe popped in and out of comics quite quickly. Um, but they're like little hidden gems in my collection. There's a few in particular. And one guy in particular, I've Googled him for years and I can't find him anywhere. We'll talk about him later. I'll do I'll do a, a super fun Sunday of his stuff. Really, really talented. I used to follow him online in the early days of the internet when it was the wild, wild west. He was a trippy kid, but uh, he vanished. There's two in particular, actually, that were online that I'd be one. I always wonder where they went. As much as Google is your friend, you know what? Some of these people, they do disappear. I, I hope I wish them both well. Okay, so let's keep going. We're gonna go a little faster. Let's get to good stuff. All right. So blah blah blah. Alpha. That's a nice shot, though. Actually. Hello. Oh yeah. Boom. Look at this. God, man. Come on. That is awesome. It's like Frazetta, Bisley, Stephen Platt. It's just got, man, look at that sword. Come on. Woo. I'm digging it. I'm not, this isn't fake. I'm telling you, I love this guy's work. I love it. Man, if I could draw like this, I'd be a troublemaker. Look at those people climbing up the wall. The suggestion of those, like, um, structures going up the side of the wall like so killer oh yeah this is alfred now he's turned into like a wizard in this like fantasy world look at him he's got blue lipstick on and fancy earring and like some eye eye makeup <sighs> come on <laughs> i told you i'd pick good books I'm telling you we're just scratching the surface i have so many comics make your head spin i was talking to a friend of mine this morning and uh <laughs> I showed him a photo of my office. Uh, it was like a cat was laying by one of my guitars, and he's a big guitar guy. And uh, he's like, my God, he's like, look at all those books in your bookshelf. I'm like, dude, that's like not even, that's nothing. Nothing. Look at that. That's really cool. Are you digging this? You can smash the like hard today. You wish you could do a double like. Sorry. This is the funnest comic channel on YouTube. Give it up to me. You know it. People always say, they're like, how do you not have more subscribers? It's a mystery for the ages. It doesn't matter, though. This is going to be here for eternity, and people will find it. Look at that. Ooh. So creative. So well drawn. So well painted. It's got the abstract stuff going on up here. It's cartooning and an actual kind of blend of like realism and cartooniness is just off the hook. This guy knows what time it is. It's time to draw good. Look at that. Nice silhouette of Alfred. Super creepy. And my phone's getting heavy. I'm gonna switch hands. Bummer, my camera just shut off. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to edit this. There'll be a, a little blip in the video right there. That's all right. My hand was killing me. It's tricky because this book doesn't want to stay open as easily as like some bigger books because it is, um, it's a bound like comic size book. So it's kind of got square borders. So I'm going to switch the phone back. I'm a righty. My left hand is a little, isn't as sharp. This is really, really cool. Watch this. So 
kind of wacky face. It's, it's not bad. So, sometimes that can, you know, to to do what he does, though, you almost kind of sometimes have to go there with stuff. It's really, really cool. I love how the, the fingers are, like, stretching out and all this, like, wrapping. Beautiful color blend here, too. Look at how, like, you watch watch the magenta start to come into the cape as it moves down. Do you see it starting to peek in right here? And he, he may, if he does the Frazetta thing, he may even throw in, like, little splashes of some other color. See if he does it. He does it quite a bit. Now he didn't really do it here, but like sometimes he'll throw in just like a little splotch of green or orange or stuff. It can work. You really the, what it is is you need to just keep the values in check. Values meaning like the level of darkness or lightness. Um, and we'll get into that later. Like I said, we're gonna get into drawing and coloring and stuff like that. And I can kind of at least get you going. I mean, I I don't consider myself um, very advanced in those fields, but what I know, I I know. So, I mean, I can I, I won't ever share stuff that I'm sketchy on. But I've studied Frazetta for a long time. I've been a huge fan, so I kind of picked up a decent amount of stuff. This is really cool with the Batman there. <laughs> God, that cape, man, is ridiculous. Well, I, I'm kind of almost hoping that, so, oh, that like a lot of people have never seen this and are really like getting excited by it. Like, go on eBay right now and pick this up or go to your local comic shop and ask them if they have it or, or online comic stores. Look at that figure. It's so nice. Man. Ah, too. God, man. I'm telling you, this guy is such a badass. He really, really is. Come back to comics, Jim. Please do one more book. Just like, do it on the side. And like I said, if anyone knows if he's done a comic in the last like five or ten years, please let me know because I want to check it out. He had actually a free, you could download like a free something of his that was quite a bit of art. I'll look through my hard drives and see if I can find it. I can't remember exactly what it is. Hopefully it's named after him and not some like encrypted name because if not searching for it, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But um, he had some kind of downloaded like PDF that you could do that was quite a bit of art. That's really nice. God, look at that anatomy. Ooh, so good. I don't really see DC doing many books like this anymore, unfortunately. It's kind of a bummer, you know? I, I don't know... I don't know where this stuff would have a place now. Let me know if you know, because... It's always been a tricky thing for me to sort of, like, figure out where I fit. I was... I used to think in my mind, like, if a young Bill Sienkiewicz broke in at the time that I did, what would he do, and how would he be able to navigate the playing field of comics now without his name behind him? Do you see what I'm saying? Is it, It's like, he's really talented, and he, he kind of does a lot of different stuff. He does a lot of photorealism and um, more heavily referenced stuff, too, but... Um, yeah, really kind of like fringe stuff, but it, but it still has like a commercial sensibility. What are the companies that produce stuff like that now? I just wish that they like like for DC like that they still did like Legends of the Dark Knight or these these kind of um, prestige. I wouldn't call them a graphic novel, but you know like fifty page sort of they're comic size, but they have a little better binding. It's really nice. I always love that. The face off. This is cool too with all the guys burning. Alfred Tucker them again. Burr, burr, burr. That's really cool. I think when you draw this well, though, like the door is open regardless. I, you know, I don't know, though, man. I don't know. You tell me. Look at that. I love that, the painted effect on the back of, like, the washi. Again, I'm pretty sure that he uses acrylic on this. There could be some watercolor over, like, either very, very tight pencil drawings or, or kind of inky, washy things. I'm going to guess it's acrylic. I can't imagine this is oils. That's really cool. Oh, God, man. Epilogue. Again, pencil drawing with acrylic sprayed over it for there, for sure. Oh, look, Alfred coming back up the stairs. Opens the window. Mm -mm. How the sense. I don't actually remember what the last page is. Oh, he's still watching from afar. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Here, let me show you the back of the book. Little montage or collage of some of the stuff on the inside. And uh, so this was originally five ninety five DC Comics. I'm gonna guess this was printed. Jeez, 
Um, well, let me guess. I'm going to guess 1997. Let's see if I'm right. No, it says 2000, so I wasn't too far off. But yeah, long time ago. Batman and Demon. Elseworlds. That was what I was thinking of. Not, not Legends of the Dark Knight. I wish the DC still did like Elseworld, Elseworlds books where you could get one shot or two shots to do these kind of like, you know, bound um, comics. That's the dream. <laughs> See, there's some of that like interesting color splash with a little bit of, of kind of pink there and yellow. Some of those little yellow hot spots on there. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, do you see the little blue on the demon? It's probably seeing put green. It's the touch of green. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Beautiful, beautiful comic book. Um, all right, I will see you all tomorrow with something. We'll see. I'm on a very tight deadline. If, if you've been waiting for me to reply to like messages and stuff like that, it's a little challenging right now because of my work schedule and then keeping up with YouTube. But... Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll find a, a free time when I can go through and knock out a bunch of replies, okay? Bye.